Here's the story of a mad cunt bearing Who had a slightly bigger dick than most Christmas is just around the corner and we all look forward to the joy and excitement that comes with the gift of giving. But sometimes we don't quite get it right. Open it up for Brissa. No! no. <coughs> What's the matter? Don't be a cunt this Christmas. Get 10% off all these fetching items between now and the 20th of December at the Bearing Merch Store. Link in the description. <coughs> the Bearing Bunch. The Bearing Bunch. That's the way I became a hairy cunt. University College London apologises after dreaming of a white campus tweet was deemed racist. We have nothing to lose but our change! We have nothing to lose but our change! University College London has apologised after its dreaming of a white campus tweet was deemed to be racist. The university said it was sorry and had chosen its words very poorly following a backlash from those who interpreted the message as an offensive remark. On Monday, the university posted a message on its official Twitter account which said, Dreaming of a white campus? Our campuses will be open and operating today, Monday 11 December, so please make your way in as planned. We can't guarantee snow, but we'll try. <laughs> One Twitter user replied, You know who else dreamt of a white campus? Hitler. That's who. Disgusting. Yep. One of the most sadistically evil things about Hitler were his lame snow puns followed by the Holocaust. Whether it's on the basis of racism, sexism, or any other kind of ism, we've got to stop giving these fainting couch professional offence takers legitimacy. There was nothing racist or bigoted or malicious about that stupid snow pun. In fact, the only thing that even hints of any wrongdoing is the apology. Fuck off would have been a much more appropriate response. Kumal Jafar, a philosophy, politics and economics student at Warwick University, urged the University College London to retract and apologise. He added that if anyone does not understand why the comment is offensive, they should look into the history of the oppression of the people of colour. Um, seriously? The people of colour. This guy goes to university. Firstly, no one's ever been oppressed by a shitty pun. You're just being a massive fucking pussy. And secondly, if by the oppression of the people of colour you mean slavery, a brief look into history will show you that it was the white people who took action to end slavery. In fact, it's still countries with majority white populations that are taking the most action to end slavery. The 2016 Global Slavery Index estimates almost 46 million people are subject to some form of slavery today. The five countries doing the most to oppose modern day slavery are the Netherlands, the United States, the United Kingdom, Sweden and Australia. The five countries with the highest prevalence of modern day slavery are North Korea, Uzbekistan, Cambodia, India and Qatar. So while I can appreciate people might be concerned with the historical oppression of the people of colour, I'd say a more pressing issue might be the present day oppression by the people of colour. <laughs> You wanna see some racism on campus? Oh, white people are racist. Recently, a student journalist for Texas State University's newspaper published an opinion piece titled, Your DNA is an Abomination. Life is so easy for the straight white man. An opinion article posted by the Texas State University student newspaper has alumni calling for a formal apology and others saying they will never send their children there. The author says he was trying to introduce new ideas on white privilege to readers, but phrases like white death will mean liberation for all caught many in the community by surprise. KXA's Lauren Landman spoke to the author and the student body president. The headline reads, Your DNA is an abomination. The author starts by saying he has only met a dozen white people he would consider decent and ends by saying, quote, I hate you because you shouldn't exist. 
The papers are all over campus. He claims that he hates all white people. Uh, now, if that's not blatant racism, I don't know what is. Mm. Snow puns? Student body president Connor Clegg says the article shocked him and apparently others around the state. I've had uh, parents of prospective students reach out to me saying that they don't feel comfortable sending their students to Texas State anymore. So we're about to meet the fellow who wrote this wonderful article, the article which includes such nuggets of wisdom as whiteness will be over because we want it to be, white death will mean liberation for all, and I hate you because you shouldn't exist. I don't hate you. Oh, come on! Do you think I'm a gullah bull? Or even a gullah calf? Author Rudy Martinez says his words are being taken out of context. He wasn't meaning white people, but rather the white culture. Oh, it's all been a big misunderstanding. He meant the white culture's DNA is an abomination. The idea of whiteness in the way that we currently understand it, in which you have white privilege, you have um, our system of mass incarceration, you have a history of slavery in this country, and followed by Jim Crow, and we have mass incarceration is the new Jim Crow. Martinez says he's received backlash online and says he could lose his job at the newspaper, but has no regrets. I don't think my piece is racist at all. I don't think that colored people can be racist. And we match, less likely to go to jail because the system is biased against black males. The system fails unless you're pale. Life is so easy for the straight white male. Students say the university's newspaper should hold a higher standard especially since it's included in their tuition. They can't hide behind the First Amendment uh, when we're all supporting them financially. Lauren Landman, KXAN News. Just over an hour ago, the university president released an apology saying she's deeply troubled by the column. And while she appreciates the forum to express opinions, she expects the student editors to exercise good judgment. After removing the article from the site late last night, the newspaper released its own apology this morning. Bells on bobtail ring, making spirits bright. What fun it is to ride and sing a sleighing song tonight. Oh. Cut, fucking cut it. Jingle Bells is racist. 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 Connor Hamill, a history professor from Boston University, recently discovered evidence in the Harvard archives that the popular Christmas carol Jingle Bells wasn't always a Christmas carol. It was originally made to satirise how black people reacted to winter activities such as sleigh riding. The comedy routine was first performed in blackface at a Boston minstrel show and portrayed black people, quote, behaving foolishly, grotesquely and incompetently in unfamiliar situations. So stop being so fucking racist. It's Christmas for fuck's sake.